What is a Eurail or Interrail Pass and how does it work? In this video, I am going to talk about train travel in Europe. We will discuss the types of train passes available and which one is best for you. We will go over how the pass works, where to purchase it, how to use it, the pros and cons, as well as the cost. Is the prospect of traveling to Europe something that you are interested in? Have you ever entertained the idea of taking a train trip through Europe? During this video, we'll go over the two most popular train passes for traveling through Europe. The Eurail Pass and the Interrail Pass. Introduction to the Eurail Pass and its history. When it was founded in 1959, it provided a generation of college students and young tourists with a ticket that allowed them to travel freely throughout Europe. Using the Eurail Pass, visitors could travel as much as they wanted throughout Europe within a set period of time. Young visitors worldwide were enthralled by the prospect of having a pass that allowed them to board a train at any time and travel throughout Europe for as long as they desired. Because travel costs started to drop, a mini-revolution in travel occurred, providing many young students with access to Europe that they would not have otherwise had. So, what is the purpose of such an extensive train travel pass? Traveling by train throughout Europe is made possible by the use of an Interrail Pass or a Eurail Pass, which are both available for purchase. The main concept behind this European train pass is that you only need one ticket, your pass, and that you have an endless number of options for travel throughout the continent of Europe. So you can focus more on your map and travel guides instead of worrying about transportation costs. If you're getting value from this video and are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for updates. Subscribing is free and helps the YouTube algorithm show our videos to other people searching for similar content. As a thank you, we have several free ebooks in the description below. Enjoy the video! So, which type of train pass is the most appropriate for you? Because there are so many options available, it can be difficult to determine which type of pass is best for you at certain times. So, how do you make your decision? To determine whether or not the pass is a good value for you, you'll need to ask yourself a few key questions about your upcoming trip and make an educated guess as to how much time you'll spend on the road. Are you planning to stay in Europe for an extended period of time? Which countries do you intend to visit in the near future? In addition, how many cities are there in total on your list? Which pass you should purchase is determined first and foremost by where you want to go on your vacation. If you only intend to travel to a single country, you can purchase a one-country pass for that particular area. In order to visit multiple countries, the Global Pass, which is valid in 33 European countries, is the most cost-effective option for you. If you intend to travel on the European train network for more than a few days, choose a pass that corresponds to that number of days. There are a variety of lengths available for these so-called travel days, ranging from 4 days to 3 months. First and foremost, let's discuss the specifics of obtaining a Eurail Pass. In Europe, a Eurail Pass is a single train ticket that allows you to travel on virtually all trains throughout the continent. Eurail, as opposed to traditional train tickets, allows you to travel whenever and wherever you want. There are some trains that require reservations, however, the vast majority of trains can be boarded simply by showing your pass. Is it true that children are entitled to free transportation? Yes, two children between the ages of 0 and 11 can travel for free with an adult. What is the procedure for obtaining my pass? Order the physical pass online in your home country, and it will be delivered to your door. It is imperative that you order the pass as soon as possible. After all, you don't want to be checking your mailbox every day when you have a flight scheduled in 7 days. Make your preparations in advance. When you place your order, you can choose to have a mobile pass emailed to you if that is what you prefer. How do I start my journey and validate the pass? When you first board the train, you must validate your train pass. It is also required to be authenticated on your first rail journey as well. Before using your pass for the first time, you must have it validated at any ticket office of any European train station before using it again. A ticket controller will approach you after you have boarded the train to begin your journey, and he or she will conduct a check on your ticket. He may also request to see your passport. This is standard throughout Europe so do not take offense to it. You are not being singled out, so just relax. I strongly recommend that you have a physical copy of your rail pass on you at all times and do not rely on an electronic version. How much does the Eurail Pass cost? I purchased my pass in the early 90s for about $375, 90 days of unlimited train travel. Unfortunately, the price has gone way up. But it is still a bargain.
See my links in the video description for more information, as prices and discounts may fluctuate. I am going to focus on the Global Pass since it is the most popular. The following prices are for second class tickets. For backpackers or anyone who might want to spend three months in Europe, you will get the most bang for your buck for sure. Highlights of the three month unlimited train pass include three months of unlimited train travel. Travel on as many trains as you like for three months straight, perfect for a fast paced, flexible trip. Every day can be a travel day if you choose. Plan out your route or simply wake up and decide where to go next, it's up to you. Sample pricing for the Global Pass on Eurail. 90 days, 12 to 27 years old, between $694 to $772, this is a dream for the European backpacker. 90 days, 27 and up, between $926 to $1028. 30 days, 12 to 27 years old, between $516 to $575. 30 days, 27 and up, between $687 to $764. Eurail also has passes that are for shorter stays including 4, 5, or 7 days in a month. 15 days in 2 months. 15 consecutive days. 22 consecutive days. Keep in mind, that the Eurail pass is available to non-European residents only. The great thing about Eurail is that there are no blackout dates or restrictions on how many times you can use your pass. And if you're feeling adventurous, you could even try out one of the overnight sleeper trains. Be sure to check out our sleeper train video in the description. Types of Eurail Passes The Global Pass is valid in around 33 participating countries. Austria, Belgium, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Montenegro, the Netherlands, North Macedonia, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey, and the United Kingdom. The one country pass permits travel on the national rail network of one country, with unlimited trips on each travel day. The pass is available in Austria, Benelux, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Greece, the Greek Islands, Great Britain, Hungary, Ireland, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, North Macedonia, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Scandinavia, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, and Turkey. Countries without one country passes include Bosnia and Herzegovina, Germany, Montenegro, and Switzerland. The passes are available for travel on 3, 4, 5, 6, or 8 travel days in a one-month period. Should I take first or second class? You have the option of selecting either the first or second class for your pass. Given that you will be traveling in first-class coaches, the first-class pass is slightly more comfortable and will make your journey a little more pleasant. There is more space between the seats, and it is typically less crowded than other seating options. In addition, there are power outlets and, in some cases, complimentary water available. First class is not available on all routes operated by Eurail and Interrail. Second class is perfectly acceptable, with very little difference. What is the procedure for making a reservation? Although reservations are not required for local or regional trains for Eurail Pass subscribers, they are required for the majority of high-speed international and overnight trains, including the Eurostar. Seat reservations, lunches, drinks, and complimentary Wi-Fi are all frequently subject to surcharges, as is the case with most restaurants. Carriers, travel agents, and routes all influence the cost of a train ticket, though taking regional or local trains will almost always save you money. Reserve your seat at the station, online at the carrier's website, on the Eurail website, in the Rail Planner app, or by phone. Most French trains require reservations as well, unless it's a local train from one small community to another that's not far away. Check out our video on sleeper trains for more information on how to take advantage of an overnight excursion. I would also highly recommend our video on the benefits of traveling solo, also in the description below. Now, let's talk about the Interrail Pass. The Interrail Pass is a single train pass that lets you travel as much as you want on participating European train networks for a set amount of travel days. There are a variety of travel date periods to choose from. 
ranging from as little as four travel days up to a maximum of three months in length. The pass is the European version of the Eurail Pass. Residents of European Union countries as well as citizens and residents of the following non-EU countries. Albania, Andorra, Belarus, Bosnia-Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Gibraltar, Iceland, Kosovo, Liechtenstein, Moldova, Monaco, Montenegro, Norway, Russian Federation, San Marino, Serbia, Switzerland, Turkey, Ukraine, and Vatican City are eligible to purchase the Interrail Pass. Proof of citizenship must be established with a passport or identity card, and proof of residency must be established with government-issued residency documents in order to obtain an Interrail Pass. Just like the Eurail Pass, you can travel with an Interrail Global Pass, which is valid in 33 European countries, or pick one of the Interrail One Country Passes. The main difference between the two passes is very simple. Interrail Passes are only valid for use by European citizens or permanent residents of the European Union. Non-European citizens and residents can instead make use of a Eurail Pass, which is valid throughout Europe. In terms of pricing, both passes are very similar so be sure to read the video description for more information as well as website links to both locations. You should make certain that you understand the differences between the two passes before embarking on your journey. Preparing for your trip. Use their official Rail Planner app, which is available for both iOS and Android devices, to make your travels through Europe more convenient and stress-free. Before you leave your home country, make sure you have the app downloaded. Prepare the app in advance by entering your contact information and travel itinerary. Using Rail Planner, you can create an itinerary for your trip through Europe, see the different types of trains you can take, see the connections available for your destination city, and determine whether or not you need to make a seat reservation. The app was created by Eurail, and the best part is that it is also accessible while not connected to the internet. Isn't that incredible? Is the train pass a good investment? If you are only planning on visiting a few towns, I believe that purchasing a pass is a waste of money. This is an instance where purchasing a simple A to B train ticket, or, even better, a plane ticket, will be less expensive and more beneficial for you. If, on the other hand, you intend to travel extensively throughout Europe for an extended period of time while maintaining your flexibility, the pass should be beneficial. This is especially true if you plan to travel to a number of cities that are dispersed throughout the country during your trip. For those who have plenty of time on their hands and want to see as many European cities as possible, the Interrail or Eurail Global Pass is a fantastic option to consider for their journey. During your travels throughout Europe, did you come across any particularly interesting stories or encounters? Comment below with something interesting, strange, or exciting that happened to you while on your journey. Thanks for watching and subscribing to our channel for more travel-related videos. Wishing you a safe journey and bon voyage.